Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, and when just cause they got on the same color, just cause they say in the same block. And my point is this: y'all run around here calling my mother mommy. Y'all run around here calling my daughter your niece. If any of you comfortable with going home and tell my mother that I died, you ain't my man. Cause I can't walk, I can't go tell your mother you did. I'm not go if you really my brother and we screaming gang, I can't tell your daughter you did. I can't tell your mother you did. So, with that being said, we gonna leave this mother together or we gonna stay here together? That's not no gangster shit. I know square that go to work. I, know, I got niggas that work a nine to five. I have square friends that go to work that say, rule one, if we go together, we coming home together. Or we not going home. That's not no gang shit. That's not no street shit. We all could work at Comcast. We go to the bowling alley together. Everybody that came in this car better get back in this car. Run around here, sprint. Skip the intro. Let's get straight to the info. Salute to every single one of y'all, gang, gang. Yo, so I hear a lot of people. It's a line drawn in the sand. You know, Cortez and Sue Surf were supposed to battle yesterday. The battle didn't happen. Okay, so now. When the battle doesn't happen, a lot of people are speculating what happened, why didn't it go down, etc., etc. Right? So I want to give my thoughts, and then that's it. You know, I did a live yesterday, but I talked about pretty much a bunch of stuff as far as the event went, the battles, how I felt. You know, me and Showtime SP will probably get together when things release, because certain battles, the stream, the stream, you cannot copy refresh. You can't copy refresh every couple of minutes. It's not fair to the MCs to really try to do bar for bar breakdowns when the stream is fucking cutting in and out and all of that and when you ain't got notes. And then if you're there at the joint, you can't get notes. So it's really not even no, it's no wins in this one until you really see the footage of a lot of these battles. Now, I can tell you how I feel as far as from what I saw. There are some battles that are pretty clear from what I saw and from the 3-0 chance and from what was going on. I got winners. But as far as the breakdowns and the bars and all of that, you know, some of them got to wait. So, a lot of people are asking what happened with Cortez versus Sue Surf. If you wasn't watching the stream yesterday or you were not in the know, I've been hit up about people who are not in the know. Now, while I don't know individuals like this, that, and the third, and even if I did, I really wouldn't specify, you know what I mean, who did what and all this other shit because that's street shit. Street shit stay in the street. So, from what I did get was there was an individual who was in a dressing room where he shouldn't have been. Dude is pulling out a knife, he's getting all aggressive, he's acting wacky, they trying to throw him out. He pulls out a blade, he cuts one of serves people, right? So then, that's when shit went left. So, I tweeted earlier, I said, uh, I said something like this, you wanna hear it, here it goes, this was my tweet. I said, and I quote, Draco the Ruler, salute to Draco the Ruler, rest in peace and all of that, was stabbed and killed in a fight back in December. A fight he was rumored to actually be breaking up. Knives take lives, and once someone pulls one out, all bets are off. They did what they were supposed to do because everybody got to make it home. At the end of the day, the mission is you have to make it home, or you should make it home. These are people with kids, families, lives, etc., etc. If you send your loved one out to a battle rap event, this is a bad, this is not like no street shit. This is nothing. This is a battle rap event. If your loved one goes to a battle rap event, you expect them to make it home a lot. You expect them to make it home without being cut, without being mean, without being harmed. If that personal safety is not guaranteed, the blood that shed is on the star. If you go to an event and Lux is bringing you or Mook is bringing you or whoever superstar, or you rolling with Fab, if something happened to you, your blood is on his hands because he went with you. He went with you. That's all the family care about. The family don't care about what happened at the event and who got to arguing because them people is on go for you. And I'm just explaining to the people who may not get this. The niggas that people bring to the events with them, if you've ever been to an event, if I've been to one, I've been to 100. The niggas who come with them, they are only there for the... I've already said this. They're only there to protect who they with, they man. That's why when the Snake Eyes and Stumble shit happened a couple weeks ago, people didn't understand why Stumble's people was taking it to where they was taking it to. They drove 20 fucking hours, 23 hours, 
from Mar Massachusetts to Houston. You think when they get down there, they're there to play around, they want to joke, they want to lollygag? No, they're there with all of the dumb shit. So let's fast forward, right? So Surf People is there just to make sure that he gets home safe, he makes it through where he's got, and he's got security on top of that. He said he has security on top of that to even secure the situation even more. So he's not making a situation. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's taking pictures with the fans. He's in and y'all know, I rock with Surf, I rock with a lot of battle rappers, but if they in the wrong, I'm gonna say, yo, you're wrong, you're dead wrong, boom, 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 boom. Once somebody pulls a knife out, all bets are off. Y'all saying, oh, he should have still battled. Okay, so if he still battles, right, that night, do you think, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Do you think that his opponent is not gonna use that in their raps? Still clapping, I'm about real action. Your man got stabbed before this battle and your ass is up here still rapping. Like, bro, what? Niggas will go crazy on you, son, they would never. That can't go down, period. If a nigga who came with you got poked, the battle's over. All bets is off. How that dude was, was how he was supposed to be. Laid out like a starfish. He was supposed to be like that. He came to the event with a knife, period. This, you don't leave your house with a weapon with good intentions, my nigga, to go to a fucking battle rap event. I don't care who you are. You don't come to no event. And then my man had the boom on him. That's a whole nother story. We gonna let that one go. But you can't come to an event bringing that kind of static and expecting something not to happen to you. It's gonna happen. If you invite enough people to the party, somebody gonna come. And I was hearing stuff about somebody was grabbing somebody's pockets and all. Nah, fam, we not doing that. Uh, we, we men at the end of the day, we're not doing that. You're not going to let no man grab your pocket in the street. You're not going to let no man grab your chain. In the, I, I would hope not. I don't buy or rock nothing that I can't protect. Period. It ain't going like, no. If you can't protect it, you don't need it. Period. That's just how it goes. You should be ready for that. You get what you sign up for. Now, I get it when people try to say, you know, sir, if he's a gang member, whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop, but the man is there to do his job. He did not come there looking for that but if he's like he said in the, in the interviews and i heard him talking afterwards they don't duck wreck they're not ducking they're not looking for wreck but they're not ducking wreck either the battle with him and cortez it can still happen that shit could happen on another card it could happen at another date shit they could meet up with the two of them and get in the caffeine room with 25 of their friends and do it there the battle, like, I do feel bad for Cortez because Cortez has been waiting so long to get this one, sh one shining moment. He was waiting for a long time to get this moment, to have that moment stripped away from him. It's kind of fucked up. I blame this 100% on the security. I know a lot of people want to blame URL. Smack is not there back there checking people's fucking pockets. Beasley's not checking people's pockets and checking why. He's, they're not doing that. So you got to blame security. Security is the ones who's doing the metal detectors and getting people through and making sure that they don't got shit on them they're not supposed to have on them, you know? That's the people who's really supposed to be doing it now. If there's enough security, I don't know. I've been to events where niggas pull up with 35 niggas and they in the back, they in the back of the building yelling and going crazy at security trying to get 25 people in the building. It gets crazy. I've seen niggas be like, yo, I'm not rapping until my niggas get in. Fuck that. They said you had plus five, I got 15 with me. Let me in right now. I've seen it. Somebody go call Beasley. I ain't fucking rapping, fuck this. I done seen whatever you could think. I've seen it in my days of battle rap. Niggas be getting to that building, they be getting hostile. Real physical trying to get in there. I done seen niggas try to bum rush the door. Like niggas will literally try to push through the door. So I know it'd be a war zone back there, but you gotta have the right personnel on hand. I don't think that caffeine was ready for what was coming out of the quarantine. First of all, you taking a lot of niggas who ain't been outside in over a year. Some niggas ain't been outside in two years, and you putting all these niggas in the same building with liquor, with smoke. Bro, it's gonna be up. This was just, this was just touching the stove to see. This is just a little touch, a little temperature check. Salute the fucking check the temperature, Mr. Temperature check. Salute to him. That was all this was. It was just a little temperature check. And niggas gotta get it together because it's not gonna get no better. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to turn into somebody getting bodied at an event before niggas really see like what it is. 
But at the end of the day, you can't blame a man for protecting his people. Like as a leader, as the leader of the gang, the, the head man, the honcho, the person that takes the blame, dog, you have to protect yours. There's no choice. There ain't no choice with that. When I first seen it, I was like, oh shit, why is this nigga laid out? Why did he get beat down like this? What did he do to make them niggas so mad? That's the first thing I was thinking, like, what did he do? Like, he had to do something. And then once it was said what happened, I was like, oh shit, well, what the fuck do you expect? Like, how do you expect something different? The, I was more shocked that people were shocked. Like, why are you shocked? He's lucky that he walked out of there. He's lucky that he just got knocked out. And actually, you can see Surf backing niggas off of him. Yo, that's enough, that's enough. What more do you want? I get it that we want to battle. I get it that we battle rap fans. But at the end of the day, a little bit of common sense has to trickle in. Like, yo, like I said in the beginning of this, Draco the Ruler, popular rapper from West Coast, was killed in a fight with a knife, stabbed in the neck, and died. Knives, once you see a knife, you might as well, when somebody pulls out a knife, they're not trying to tickle you. They're trying to cause bodily harm. They're trying to get you up out of here, period. You seen that, like the cut, there's, there's blogs and there's stuff like that with the dude's cut, son. His skin was hanging off, like his, it was flapping. His shit was, he was cut bad. And y'all wanted Surf to go out there and still rap. So if he goes out there and still raps, chokes all three rounds, y'all not gonna give him no pass. Y'all gonna, gonna crucify him. But if he stands on his morals and says, yo, if, we, if one go to the hospital, we all go to the hospital, that's not enough. That's gotta be enough. It's got to be some some form of fashion where we can say, nah, we got to slow this down. This can't be happening. Nobody goes to battle rap events thinking, yo, I got beef over a rap battle. Like, I can, we can have the most heated conversations, the most heated debates about battles and shit like that. I spoke to Surf not too long before the court battle, you know what I'm saying? And we can have debates about battles and shit like that. We can talk about all of it. But at the end of the day, it's not beef. It ain't beef. Like, that That shit should not exist. Like, ops. Like, niggas ain't ops. Ops is niggas that you see in the street, and even if with your kid, even if you're with your kid, they'll try to blow your brains off your shoulders. This is not beef. It shouldn't be that way. As far as the battle, like I said, before I get out of here, I definitely wanted Cortez to have his look, to have his shot, to be able to do his thing, but it just didn't happen. I don't know what it is if Cortez owns a black cat, well, what is his luck? But his luck is just crazy to get this close to the big game. And then it's like the Super Bowl is canceled. This whole weekend was trash. The Queen of the Ring event didn't have no main event. URL event didn't have no main event. It was the night of no main events. <laughs> no me. The night of no. <laughs> night. N-O-N-M-E. The night of no main events. The weekend of no main events. It was no main events. Everything was undercard. Uh, but... I will say this, nobody lost their life, so hopefully, you know, the business continues on. I know Surf was talking about taking a break and shit like that. He probably will still get that court. I see it happening. They'll fuck around and have that battle happen. <laughs> like, the next event, they'll fuck around and have that shit happen. You know what I mean? Like, they'll take the studio and Kings and Queens battle and just have them two niggas battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna happen. I have no doubt in that. But we have to look past the fact that, yo, we want to battle, 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 battle. First of all, the event was mad long for three battles, fucking for almost five hours. That shit was different anyway. Then the stream was in and out. The shit was slippy blippy. Like, I don't even know if these niggas had to dial up server. I don't think, they said almost 500,000 people watching this shit. I don't think that they was ready for what came with. Whatever servers that Versus use when they have a million people watching and all that, y'all niggas need to step y'all shit up to the premium package because that shit that y'all had going on was not it. There was no smooth groove. And I know a lot of niggas be working for y'all, so they won't call it. I don't work for you. And I know they watch this shit, so I call it like I call it. As a, as a fan who watches the shit, uh, y'all niggas got to have a better service. Like, that shit was not it. And I know it's, you say, it's free, it's free. Nigga, free, free don't always mean great. That stream was bad yesterday, very bad. That shit shut down every three to five minutes. And that's why niggas can't even really judge the battles because it's like, yo, did, what did you see? But um, yeah, man, that's all, that's my thoughts, man, about the surf shit. Uh, damn niggas did what they were supposed to do, period. Like, nigga pull out a, a blade and he used it? Oh no, he gotta go. He got to go, he cannot walk out of here. 
he got to get escorted out. He can't walk out of here. If he walks out of here, then it's going to make it seem like, okay, you the niggas that we could stab on. You the niggas that we could beat on. We, you the niggas who pockets we could go in. Not at all. Has to be an example made. Somewhere. Peace. Dang, when just because they got on the same color, just because they say in the same block. And my point is this. Y'all run around here calling my mother mommy. Y'all run around here calling my daughter your niece. If any of you comfortable with going home and tell my mother that I died, you ain't my man. Because I can't walk. I can't go tell your mother you did. I'm not going. If you really my brother and we screaming gang, I can't tell your daughter you did. I can't tell your mother you did. So, with that being said, we're going to leave this motherfucker together or we're going to stay here together. That's not no gangster shit. I know square that go to work. I, know, I got niggas that work a nine to five. I have square friends that go to work that say, rule one, if we go together, we coming home together. Or we not going home. That's not no gang shit. That's not no street shit. We all could work at Comcast. We go to the bowling alley together. Everybody that came in this car better get back in this car. Run around here, screen, screen.